Oz Reese for regular news, catching up with performance coach, strength and conditioning, Andy Aguilar. Andy, you just finished up today's uh, workout with Jose Chon Cepeda. How's everything going? Everything is really good. I mean, with the unfortunate uh, pandemic that's happening with the coronavirus, we're still making sure that all of our fighters under our stable, they're keeping in top physical shape because we understand that, especially within the sport of boxing, as soon as this pandemic has um, eased off a bit, uh, boxing will come back in full force. Uh, I am going to be expecting events and shows to be happening very frequently from week to week, maybe three shows a week. So we need to make sure all of our fighters are ready for this and they take any opportunity that's given to them. And when they do take this opportunity that they will be able to be entering the ring at the best shape they can be to take that win. How do you stay in touch with all your fighters? Do they call you? Do they tell you, um, Andy, I need to keep training? Um, even though we're not going to have any schedule fights, I can't, you know, go easy on the on the pedal. How do you how do you uh, keep training your fighters with all this uh, health crisis going on? Uh, from what we actually do, ladies and guys, what we try to do. Um, Thanks, John. Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> what we try to do with our fighters, uh, I mean, we have a very good relationship with all of our fighters, so they keep in touch with me. Uh, obviously, there's a there's going to be uh, challenges and situations, making sure that one they're settled and everything is uh, situated with them, and then we start camp. But we we are always in good relations, and they're always keeping in communications with me. So it's really always dependent on the fighter and when they would like to start camp, because unfortunately we don't know when uh, boxing will be scheduled. We don't even have a good idea of when any of our fighters will be scheduled to fight. The best thing we can do is just keep them ready as best as possible so when they are called for a scheduled fight at a certain day, they're already pretty much halfway there in being ready and we just need to clean it up a little bit and taper them and they'll be at their peak performance on the fight date. Give us a little breakdown on what Jose John Cepeda went through today with, uh, with your uh, routine. Yes, uh, today Chon has already went through phase one which is strength development. Today is actually the first day of phase two in my training system, which is power development. So today we saw a lot of expression of powerful force, explosive force that needs to be developed in an athlete's body, especially for a boxer, because that's pretty much the environment that a boxer needs to fight in. They need to be able to express powerful forces within their fists for a prolonged period of time within a boxing match without them losing power and at the same time without them fatiguing. So today was the first day in which we're going to follow suit for another four to six weeks of this type of training to make sure that we're developing within Chon the explosivity at its highest point and also being able to maintain that explosivity, especially if the boxing event last 12 rounds 10 rounds whatever whatever the situation arises for Chon. is this your the first uh, training camp that Chon has been uh under under your regime um andy actually no uh, i've been with Chon. i want to say it's a, a little bit over a year so yeah. this would be i believe if i'm correct either the fourth or fifth training camp that i have trained Chon in so we're we already have good relationship I know Chon pretty well physically, so I know what I need to really touch upon, uh, especially keeping in communication with Chon and also his uh, head coach and brother Rene. They let me know what needs to be addressed physically and physical performance with Chon. I make sure I add that into the program for the next fight. So a fighter goes into a training camp for eight weeks before a fight is scheduled. How often do you train them during those eight weeks? Anywhere between two to three times a week. I never suggest any of fighters to do strength and conditioning more than three times a week because no matter what, this is a sport of boxing. Boxing is a craft, it's an art, it's a skill. So it needs to be constantly practiced. So for the strength and conditioning aspect where we're looking at human performance, two to three times a week is ideal right there because we need, for us as strength and conditioning coaches, we just need to fine tune the human body. Skill set wise, that requires hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands of repetitions. Right. Techniques, boxing play, uh, boxing and punch placement, boxing and footwork, and that just requires repetitiveness. So for me, I cannot take away that time, uh, that time away from boxing skill training just for strength and conditioning. Right. Strength and conditioning is very essential for every athlete and especially fighters, but 
for me, my suggestion, two to three times a week for strength and conditioning, that's perfect. And those are on non-sparring days, right? Non-sparring days. So that'll yes. be Monday, Thursday, Saturdays as well? Perfect, yeah, it really depends on the fighter. I always ask all of my fighters and boxers, what days do they spar? What days do they feel comfortable? What are their hard days and what are their easy days? And we make sure we align the training days on those specific days that they know they can fully recover till the next day. So it's always dependent on the fighter and the coach. All right. and I'm gonna take this opportunity right now on this video for all those fight fans out there. Andy Aguilar has fought, has trained um, five-time world champ Leo Santa Cruz and some of his uh, teammates as well. Yes. Um, go ahead and reveal some of the times that you've worked uh, with Leo Santa Cruz as well. Uh, yes, with Leo Santa Cruz, I have worked with him. I believe it's been five years. I've been f uh, with Leo Santa Cruz for five years. I've helped him all the way from the very first camp we worked with was Abnamata's one. That was actually the very okay. first camp I worked Leo with, and I believe that was five years ago. So I've ran him through a lot of um, championship, um, championship rounds, championship belt opportunities. Obviously, the most recent one when he's uh, prestigiously won his uh, fifth, uh, fifth division world title uh, at 130 pounds. Uh, trained him for that. But yeah, I really ran uh, through a lot of camps with Leo Santa Cruz, really just building him up, especially for him being Santa Cruz, very, being very ambitious as he is, trying to go up weight classes and always finding new challenges and just pushing himself. Uh, for myself, it's just making sure that I can keep up with that and making sure his body can keep up with that because obviously for a fighter with Leo Santa Cruz, starting at 118 pounds and moving up to now currently 130 pounds and we don't know where Leo Santa Cruz will be going into the future. Maybe he is going to tackle another weight division at 135 pounds. Whatever his decision is, whether being at 130, unifying there, going back down to 126 to try to unify, or going up to 135, that's my job in a human performance aspect to make sure that his body is physically ready for any challenges that he is trying to tackle. And hopefully that'll be a big fight coming up. Everyone expects Leo to be fighting uh, Tank Davis pretty soon once boxing resumes. Exactly. How do um, athletes, uh, how can they able, can they be able to reach you during this uh, health crisis? Uh, right now, you can reach me through my uh, Instagram account, which is the.elitesmith, so E-L-I-T-E-S-M-I-T-H, or you can just search Andy Aguilar, that's my full name right there on Instagram. Just DM me from there, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions from that point. You have it. Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Andy Aguilar, performance coach. Uh, strength and conditioning anybody needs his services go ahead and give him a call or reach him on his Instagram account thank you very much Andy we'll be in touch